Jack, man. I'm Jack. Why this is, is that? fun, man. This is a lot better than the, You were gonna the, compare it to something, though, freshwater wise. This is like late May, early May at Lily. On Garen the beds, maybe going up to the secret place that we know about. Guaranteed. Mm, guaranteed fish, I like it. <laughs> the last time I was here, I had a fish snap an ADOT Gamagatsu hook fresh out of the pack. So uh, we're going after some big boys today. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, you guys. All right, let's have some fun. Let's do it. I was just tying up and he he's got a real fish I didn't even drop down yet he already has one what do we have a world record sea bass on there that ain't even fighting like a bluefish that might be a giant bass Here's the leader. Oh wow. Look at Woo! Oh my goodness, look at the size of that black. Beautiful. Oh wow, look at that scum. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that compared to my hand. My boy Kevin from Outcast Adventure. We just got our limited uh, sea bass. We're gonna be three weighing eels tonight for big stripers. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, they're, they're just going nuts right now. Trouble with that little rod. It's amazing. Dude, I, I saw a couple tails there. They were probably like two in a tail. Uh, they're big fish. The schooly bass. Dang. What? Oh, you got them, you got them pontooned. <laughs> You got a pot in on the side. Is he up? Right. Yeah. Right. Catch and release. CNR, baby. Look at that. Do you hear that? They're bussing everywhere. Okay. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to get back to it. I just gave Keith the ride. Go ahead. No, it's perfect. Oh. <laughs> Got off? Yeah. There we go. Oh. Bad 
I hate that light on. Okay, get behind the boat. Get behind it. You go for the corner. I just got some B-roll here. That thing's a monster, man. That's a, that's a good bass. I think no 30 pounder. Nah. Right? It's over 40, I would bet. Definitely willing to bet. But I've seen some like 30s like that, that do this, you know, every once in a while. But he's just got the weight behind him, you know. He might be foul hook too, you know. There he is, there he is. It's a toad. We're up and get her back in the water. Has the camera ready? I got no one, dude. Just get her legs in a bird. Watch. Be gentle with the. Oh, I'm wrong way. Wrong way. Can you get us in there? Sure. What you think, man? Nice one. Nice one. Beautiful fish. Yeah, let's get it back in the water. Out of breath. Yeah, let's get it here. Take the hook out. Teeth hooked up. Oh. Another big one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to leave this one in the water, get a good release on it. Okay. All right. Whenever she's ready, you can let her go. Nice, healthy release. It's another beautiful fish. How big do you think that is? A little smaller than this. High 30s. Can you beautiful? There she goes. Back into the deep. It's awkward with two people. I'm not used to it. <laughs> Anyways, this is a skipper right here. Put us on the fish. It got off to a little bit of a slow start. The tide was so slack, but mm -hmm. hung in there. Uh, got in some big fish and. Uh, Man, it was fun, and we got some fish for the table too, so we can't complain. We got some good fillets, man. That's what I'm all about, and um, yeah, it was fun, man. We got a great crew. If, in case you haven't noticed, it was a uh, great crew, and we yeah. uh, three guys that really knew how to fish. That yeah. was awesome. These are all guys that we fish bass tournaments with, so mm -hmm. good friends. Uh, had a good time. Uh, check out his channel. I'll post a link at the end of the videos. Outcast Adventures. He does a little bit of everything: hunting, fishing. Uh, great all-around outdoorsman. So <laughs> make sure you check him out. <laughs>